I mean, so for me, because I had written that first book that was so much about finding out um, for the character discovering who he is and having the courage to own that, I wanted to write another another perspective on what it's like to be identifying as LGBTQ as a, um, in this book, the, uh, the lead character is 13 years old and in the best study he was 12. So, um, but in that, in that age range, in that age group. And so for me, I wanted to write a character who was out in his own way. You know, he's out to his, his mom and to, to his friends, um, in one place. But when he moves to a new city, he has to sort of deal with what that's going to be like in this new city. Um, also he's dealing with a level of fame. He's, he's a, He's a star voice on a very, very popular animated series. Um, so there's expectations that I think people have of him. He's kind of like navigating a little bit of that. Um, but to your point, like the, for him, the, the thing that he's really holding on to uh, has more to do with his relationship with the cartoon and his um, his voice, honestly. Mm -hmm. And the reason I really wanted to focus on that was because uh, when I was on book tour for the best at it, I went to a middle school in, in Ohio and um, the kids at this middle school, it was like 700 kids in the auditorium for the school visit. And the kids in the school, they not only were big fans of a lot of the voiceover work I do, but they also really seemed to be excited about the best at it and about the content and about that the kid was LGBTQ. And um, after I left that school, I think just like three days later, a group of parents were very angry that an openly gay author had come to speak to their students at the school. And they were actually able to enact real, um, they, they were able to change the way school assemblies are run there, the way teachers are allowed to handle kids dealing with their identities and all in, you know, from my perspective in a very negative way, like they, they kind of shut down was a beautiful experience where these kids were like really engaging with me and talking about their own struggles with their identities and um, <clears throat> their own struggles with being themselves and turn it into something really shameful and negative, which it, which it hadn't been. Mm -hmm. And these kids at the school started reaching out to me, um, like on social media and saying, what do we do? What do we do? And so the thing that really came to my mind was um, here I was, this person who had an actual voice as like having a platform, <clears throat> who had a voice on this cartoon series that these kids loved. And they were looking at me to like be a mouthpiece for them in a way that I couldn't because I couldn't really engage with youngsters on social media and tell them what to do in the middle of this controversy. And so I kept thinking, where is their voice in all this? And how can they find a way to take a stand and who's listening to them and what they want in this, in this situation? And so that's why in this book with Nikhil, the thing that he's really struggling with is like, where is his voice? And the manifestation of that is this cartoon character he plays and the fact that he's not sure if he'll get to play it forever because he's 13. And um, at that age, uh, for young boys, their voice starts to change. <laughs> so right. it's really about him finding his voice as opposed to him. Um, you know, in the first book, I was really exploring finding your identity. And here it's like finding the voice and the courage to, to speak out.